What's up guys today's video I am gonna do a detailed review and pick the top 5 best robot vacuum 2022, after doing proper researches, we came to the conclusion that meets the best in terms of overall. Kindly leave a like if you find this helpful, and I'd appreciate if you subscribe to my channel and turn on post notifications if you haven't. We will be also providing affiliates link to purchase from Amazon. Kindly use to for best offers and purchase from anywhere in the world. We'll be back with more videos. iRobot switched things up with the Roomba J7 Plus by moving the navigation sensor to the very front of the robot, recessed into the top of the front bumper. This change gives the bot its obstacle detecting ability, the superpower of the Roomba J7 Plus. The sensor is made even more noticeable by the LED headlight that illuminates the vacuum's path while it cleans. Though the light was jarring at first, especially in rooms that weren't well lit, I got used to seeing the Roomba J7 Plus's headlamp explore my floors quickly. Aside from the sensor placement, the iRobot Roomba J7 Plus looks strikingly similar to the Roomba i3 Plus, with its disc within a disc design. But the Roomba J7 Plus has traded basic grey for classy matte black with a dark grey brushed metallic looking center disc. In the center sits the iRobot logo, with a single button for starting and stopping cleanings above the logo. That button is outlined in white light when the vacuum is cleaning, blue when heading back to the dock, and red when there's an error. The underside of the iRobot Roomba J7 Plus is nearly identical to the Roomba i3 Plus, with a tri-spoke brush on one side, an omnidirectional wheel at the top, and two green rubber roller brushes in between chunky black rubberized wheels. A bevy of sensors dot the edges. The iRobot Roomba J7 Plus turned in a solid performance in both our hardwood and carpet lab tests, earning an overall average score of 91.81. It was slightly better than the Roborock S6 Max score of 90.56 and the similar, but non-mapping, Roomba i3 Plus's score of 90.1. But it wasn't quite as good as the 96.25 earned by our current best overall vacuum, the Roborock S4, nor did it surpass the Roomba S9 Plus's score of 96.83. Even the A9 setup is a little different from other robot vacuums. You can charge its battery whether its power switch is in the on or off position but best practice is to set the vacuum on its dock's charging pins, flip the power switch to on, and then press the home button on the vacuum's remote control to begin automatic charging. The LED on the A9 start slash pause button will pulse until the vacuum is fully charged, and then the light will switch off. If you switch off the power switch prior to charging, any cleaning schedule you've created will be deleted. When the robot vacuum's battery runs low during a cleaning, it will return to the dock to recharge and then resume the job. The user manual also outlines a manual charging method wherein you plug the electrical adapter directly into the A9, bypassing the dock. The manual, however, offers no explanation of when or why this option might be preferable. The A9 supports four cleaning modes, all of which are activated from the remote. In auto mode, the robot plots a path through the room and cleans in a zigzag pattern. During these jobs, it will automatically detect areas it has missed and go back over them. In spot mode, it will clean an area of concentrated dirt in a spiral pattern. In edge mode, the A9 navigates until it recognizes a wall, then cleans along its edges. The UFI RoboVac G30 Hybrid looks very similar to the brand's other robot vacuum cleaners. Sporting a familiar circular design, complete with a plastic bumper surrounding the top half of the appliance, it measures 12.8 by 12.8 by 2.85 inches, 32.5 by 32.5 by 7. 2 cm, HXWXD. This is a relatively compact robot vacuum, which means it had few issues navigating under furniture with low clearance. Its glossy black top surface is complemented by a brown accent and three buttons. The latter enable you to start and stop cleaning, activate spot cleaning mode for intense areas of debris, and enable the RoboVac to return to the base station and recharge its battery. The underside of the device has two wheels and a swivel wheel, which help the robot vacuum to work its way around your home. There's a brush bar, too, plus space for an optional side brush that comes with the vacuum for cleaning edges and any crevices in a room. Under the hood are 31 sensors, including infrared and a Hall effect sensor, which enable the robot vacuum to move around your home avoiding any large furniture. The latter uses magnetic fields to identify position and distance. Unlike some robot vacuums on the market, such as the Ecovax T8 Ivy, the UFI RoboVac G30 Hybrid doesn't have a built-in camera to help it see obstacles. As mentioned, 
the RoboVac G30 Hybrid offers three levels of suction with three power levels, along with a 0.12 gallon, 0.45 liter dust canister. Also bundled in the package is a base station for recharging and a boundary strip that can create no-go areas that the robot vacuum won't cross. On test, the u G30 Hybrid impressed with its suction power on both carpets and hard floors. It collected fine dust, cookie crumbs and larger debris, including cereal, with ease, even on the lowest power setting. Capable of mopping as well as vacuuming on hard floors, the G30 Hybrid will happily slosh water over your floors to remove fresh dirt. However, it doesn't have a scrubbing action, so struggles with tougher, ground-in dirt and stains. When it came to making its way around our home, slow and steady was the name of the game. The G30 Hybrid took a methodical path backward and forward through a room, which is more efficient than a robot vacuum that zigzags across a room. The iRobot Roomba S9 Plus doesn't look dissimilar to previous Roomba models, its rose gold lid hiding the bin being one of the more noticeable differences, it's host to many improvements. These include wider dual rubber brushes, compared to the Roomba 600 series, and a brush with five angled arms to really get into corners and along walls. On top there are just three buttons, one to start and stop at cleaning, one for spot cleaning and one to send at home, all of which are useful if you don't have your device to hand. Compared to some, it's a fairly weighty machine to carry from room to room at 8.15 pounds, 3.7 kilograms, but not too large. Its height of 3.5 inches, 9 centimeters isn't too tall to tuck under most beds although it may be too tall to fit underneath some sofas. The Roomba S9 Plus is an average 12.25 inches, 31 centimeters wide but it's the charging station you may struggle to find room for. At 19 inches, 48 centimeters tall and 12.2 inches, 31 centimeters wide it takes up a decent amount of space against a wall, especially when allowing for the suggested clearance of 1.5 feet, 50 centimeters either side on top. Setup was fairly simple as it's all done via the app, see below, but it can be frustrating waiting for it to map your home as a non-negotiable first task. There's an extra filter and corner brush included in the box, plus a couple of dirt disposal bags. It might be a small thing but even the bags make sure you won't ever have to come into contact with the dust from your floors, each one seals up as it's removed from the charging station. The iRobot Roomba S9 Plus sucked up all the fine dust, biscuit crumbs, and oats we sprinkled on hard floors but it did leave some fine dust behind on our medium pile carpet, both on the quiet clean setting and the more powerful detailed clean. That said, even our usual vacuum cleaner struggled to pick up the fine flour afterwards, suggesting that it was fairly embedded in the pile after being rolled over a few times. Overall, we were impressed by the cleaning efficiency of the iRobot Roomba S9 Plus, while it can still get caught on rugs, it reached the edges of rooms to whisk away dust and navigated furniture well. The power boost feature automatically increased the suction when it detected carpets, too. It is fairly noisy compared to other robot vacuums registering 61 dB on carpet and 64 dB on a hard floor on our decibel meter when using the detailed clean mode, which is equivalent to the sound of conversation in an office. The overall design of the Roborock S7 Plus won't surprise you. The vacuum is round and around 13.8 inches wide, and 3.8 inches tall. It's a bit larger than some other robotic vacuums, but still not overly large. The Roborock S7 Plus is available in black and white, and both look decent. We're reviewing the white model, which looks fine, however, I would have preferred the black model given it would have looked a little more subtle. On the top of the device, you'll get three buttons. There's a dock button, which returns the vacuum to the dock, a power button, which can be pressed once to clean, or held to power the device on or off, and a spot clean button. It's pretty simple, however, generally, I use the controls in the app instead of on the device itself. Then there's the dock. With the Roborock S7 Plus, you'll get Roborock's auto-empty dock. It has a large dust bin and can store much more dust than the vacuum itself. When the vacuum returns to the dock, it'll suck up the dust from inside the vacuum, and collect it until you empty it. During the review period, I didn't have to empty the dock once. Generally, it should last at least a few weeks or more of usage. It's nice to get, but may not be necessary for some, especially given the fact that it adds $300 to the price of the vacuum. It's also pretty large, so you'll have to find a good spot for it in your home. The vacuum has a few different accessories and components that you'll remove from time to time. Of course, there's the dust bin, which can be found under a hatch on the back of the vacuum and is easy to do so.